Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Braille Gain Cannabis. We are in to week four of flower now, you guys. So let's uh, take a quick look at how the ladies are looking. <sighs> All right, so this here is the bruiser bear, you guys. And this is that really funky cola that's got these strange leaves growing on it. Man, is she frosty though. Move on to some better colas here. There, you guys can see just frosting up like crazy. Absolutely crazy. Just beautiful frosting. So, yeah, that is the Bruiser Berry. And then here's the taller of the two crown royales and as you guys can see she's filling in beautifully lots of frost starting to come out on her as well Some beautiful colas filling in here just gorgeous going to be a real nice looking lady when she's all set and done I think absolutely beautiful so yeah, that's how things are looking there. And then the other Crown Royale, this is the one with the purpling, as you guys can see. I've gone through all of my Crown Royale seeds that I got in, and this is the first one that had bigger leaves on it than the other four phenotypes. A hell of a lot more frosting going in early. I mean, check this out and also having that purpling in on the stalk. Now, this is a cross between blueberry and purple kush. So we should be seeing some purpling, some coloration coming through on the Crown Royale. And we just didn't see too much of that in the last couple of runs that we've been running it. So I'm hoping that this is that phenotype and if it is, then I'm going to do what I can to try to save it, uh, whether re-vegging this plant or whatever. Um, just because I really enjoy the smoke. But uh, yeah, I was looking for a certain phenotype and I wasn't able to find it. So I'm hoping this might be it. If not, it's going to turn into really nice smoke, you guys. I mean, you can see that just looking at it. Beautiful, beautiful. And then the Cali Orange. The Cali Orange is starting to frost up rather nice too. And she's about two to three times bigger in her bud girth. She's just bulking and bulking and bulking and bulking. Um, this might mean that she's gonna finish a little bit before the other plants. Uh, I was looking online about the Cali Orange and the Cali Orange said it's been crossed so many times that depending on the strain of Cali Orange that you get, it could be anywhere from seven to nine weeks in flower. So this is what she's looking like, you guys, anyways. Big, beautiful colas. And the frosting's just starting to come out and take over. And of course, she smells like citrus and orange. So yeah, that's what's been going on so far. Um, been a really good week of bulking going on you guys and things have been looking really well um, so yeah so yeah you guys I wanted to show you something that I've been adding in uh, my sponsor Canadian Garden Supply has turned me on to fish shit uh, I know a lot of growers out there are using it so I figured what the hell let's throw that into the mix here and uh, see if that helps out with the flowering um, I've heard a lot of good things about it, you guys. I've been using it now since week two, and the only thing that I've noticed is it will drop down your pH um, pretty drastically. So keep that in mind when you're using it, you guys. I am using two milliliters per liter as I am doing my feedings. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm doing my regular heavy feeding uh, with advanced nutrients. And then on my watering, because I do a feed and then a water, you guys, on my watering days, I'm doing a fish shit conditioner and I do my rhino skin and my Senzyzyme 
and a shot of carbo load. So I do carbo load right here. I do rhino skin and senzyzyme. Fish shit. And uh, I do that on my watering days. Uh, they're very low in parts per million. Um, I will also, on those watering days, is when I do my uh, microbial mass and my mycorrhizal inoculants, you guys. Um, so that keeps my parts per million. They get a big feeding. And then over two days, they're eating that food and the, and the pots are drying out. And then I give them a water feeding with the fish shit and the rhino skin and the senzyzyme and the carbo load. And that gives them all that stuff that they need there, plus that extra boost of fish shit as well. And what it does is it just keeps the parts per million level at, usually when I'm doing my feedings, my parts per million, my big feed is somewhere around 17 to 1900 parts per million. And then when I do my watering in a couple of days after the pots are dry, uh, when I hit it with the fish shit, senzyzyme, rhino skin, carbo load, it usually brings it up to about uh, 500 parts per million. And by then the plants have used about seven, 800 parts per million, maybe even a thousand. So that just levels it out and allows the plant to take up what's left of the nutrients inside the pot over the next two days as it's drying out and then another big feed again, you guys. So that's what I'm doing there. And um, yeah, the only other thing I will talk about here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am using the fish shit now um, and having pretty good success. I mean, you guys are seeing how things are bulking up uh, and I started that in week two. So this is about two weeks of using the fish shit and we'll continue to see how it uh, pans out and what it does along the way. Okay, um, so yeah, let's get back to the tent. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be the update for today, real quick and easy. Just wanted to show you guys how things are bulking up and filling in here right now as uh, we transition through into week four. And uh, yeah, everything's been looking really, really good, you guys. I, I can't, I, I'm actually a little bit blown away after the plants getting frosted and you know, just another testament to how hardy marijuana plants are, you guys. Cannabis plants are one of the hardiest plants in the world to grow. Now they can be finicky, that's for sure, but uh, it's amazing how much abuse a cannabis plant can take and rebound back and turn into something beautiful. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that Cali Orange is going to be a big, bulky girl, I think, you guys. I'm really impressed with how she is bulking up. And, uh, you know, that old Bruiseberry back there, I don't know. I think she might bulk up yet. She's starting to. I think she might fill in rather nicely. The uh, Blueberry and the Blackberry Mouth, which are her parents, were both a little bit slow start. So, uh... You know, we'll see. Uh, she started out sporadic like the blackberry mouth uh, did in the in the last run there. But she's starting to fill in like the blueberry did. So, really curious to see what she's going to end up actually turning into. Going to be some pretty frosty smoke though, my friends. And yeah, the Crown Royales, you guys. As I said, I'm, I've been so impressed with the smoke. Just... Uh, looking for a certain phenotype out of it you guys and I haven't been able to find it as of yet you know sometimes these hunts take a little longer than you anticipate but uh, this one right here might be the one we, uh, a little early to, to tell we won't start seeing colors until I start dropping the temperature in the room over the last couple weeks before we harvest uh, so we'll see if any colors come out of her or not and I'm kind of curious to see what kind of colors are going to come out of the blackberry mouth and blueberry cross as well, you guys. Uh, the blueberry, very, very dark purple buds, had bright pink and purple pistols in the buds last run. And the blackberry mouth had a real nice rainbow leaf kind of coloration that ran throughout both of the phenotypes that we ran there. So, yeah, 
gonna be some uh, killer smoke, I think, you guys. Uh, definitely uh, both the blueberry and the blackberry mouth turned out to be really excellent smoke out of the last run, so just not super sure on what the bud's gonna do. Well, this lady is gonna flower out, and uh, she's definitely got a little bit of a genetic fart going on there with that one cola. Uh, as you can see, it just, it's got misshapen leaves and there's yellow and green splits down it. It's just an oddball. Okay guys, anyways, um, yeah, everything's just continued to float on through using the uh, advanced nutrients three pound schedule that I showed you guys for flowering on through. Uh, one thing I did notice it's not on that schedule guys is I do use Bud Factor X. Uh, Bud Factor X is something I use uh, right through uh, from week two right to the last week before I flush uh, during flowering you guys. So that's one of those ones that's not included in that three pound recipe but one of the ones that I do use when I am growing and flowering my plants. So uh, yeah, I will toss up the uh, three pound schedule one more time here for you guys. Just keep following that you guys. And as for the lighting schedule, you guys should be on 11 and 13, 11 on and 13 off still. If you're following along with me, we'll probably be sitting there until week five or week six, and then we'll drop a half an hour. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there as we get through week seven, week eight, and week nine and what these plants are looking like as far as trichomes and that kind of production and ambering and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, nothing to fret, nothing too big to worry about. Uh, remember to use your microbial mass and your mycorrhizae sometime during this week. I'm using mine this week as well. Uh, every two weeks, you guys, microbial mass and mycorrhizae. I uh, use the Elite 91 from Myco Jordan. Great micro <coughs> mycorrhizal inoculant, you guys. So look that up. Elite Jordan 91. Or Elite 91 Myco Jordan. Sorry, I always get that a little bit messed up when I say it. Anyways, you guys, we'll leave this short and sweet uh, once again. Always appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the updates and sharing the love. Always look forward to your comments and your questions and talking with y'all. And uh, wishing you all the best. Happy growing. Keep it green. Grow your buds for us, you my friends. And uh, take care, ladies, and they'll take care of you. And we shall see you in week five. Hopefully we'll be a lot bigger, a lot bulkier, and a lot thicker in the cola and the things. But things are sure filling in nice. All right, guys. We'll see you in week five. Peace. And love. See you in the next video, y'all.